We're getting into the Halloween spirit. <laughs> we sent the traveling news dust to the spookiest place that we could find. This story is really cool. I'm excited to take you to this place because you all know Sleepy Hollow and Salem and Amityville. But do you know about Anoka, Minnesota? Huh. Because it's the Halloween capital of the world. Guess what? We're going there because the news desk is there here to give us the scoop on America's spooky little town. Please welcome lifelong resident and Halloween enthusiast, Jean Hill. Jean! Hi, girl. Oh, Jean. I'm here. Oh, welcome to Anoka. Thank you so much, Jean, for being our ambassador to the Halloween capital of the globe. We're so excited to see you. And I'm so excited to talk to you. I heard you're about to have a birthday. May I please wish you a very happy early 95th? What? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so excited about it. Could you hear what we were I talking? I feel young again. Oh, come on. Could you hear what we were talking about earlier with with life and, you know, love and marriage and divorce and all of that good stuff? Yes. Uh, well, I'm just interested because you I liked it. Oh, good. good. Well, I love your love story and your <laughs> and your family. You met your husband um, back in the day, and you have um, six grandchildren and nine great grandchildren. You have a tremendous love story. May I ask the secret yes. to your love story? Just be happy every day. Be be cooperative with each other, and enjoy your family. I love life. I've had a wonderful life. Oh. I started in Anoka, and here I am. I'm still in Anoka. Jean. And you were born and raised there. I know, Jean, I love you so much. You were born and raised in Anoka, and I'd love you yes. to take us back to 1920, when yes. Anoka became the first city to put a Halloween celebration on the map. Why did they start this celebration? Because they had so many pranksters carrying on different things that were going on. And it happened that my dad was one of those teenagers. Oh. So one time I asked him, Dad, what were you doing that was wrong? And he said, uh, it wasn't wrong. We just thought it was fun. So they decided that they would have a parade and entertain the children. And so that was, has happened, and it's carried on all these years. 101 years it's been going yes, on in Anoka. Years. It goes on forever now. <laughs> it started out with one little parade in the evening, and now we are huge, and people flock to Anoka to watch the parades, and everyone is welcome, and everybody relaxes and has a wonderful time. Thank you, Jean. Thank you so much for being our Halloween ambassador, bringing Anoka onto the map of the Druze News, mm -hmm. as well as the rest of the world, and celebrating a holiday that really is about celebrating every unique individual out there. And that's why I love Halloween. Yeah. Can I ask one final question from our Halloween expert, Jean? Is candy corn good yeah. or gross? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. It's grossy good. It's. I don't like candy corns, Jean. I don't get them. But I get you, Jean. Yes. Well, happy almost 95th birthday. Cheers to you. Cheers. We'll see you next year. We'll be right back with more.